Hi, welcome back. In this Build This Viz video, we're going to show you how to create a podium style sorted bar chart. So you know ascending and descending, but what if you want to sort in the middle and then have the values alternate left, right? Sort of like it would be on the podium for the Olympics. And that's what we want to be able to show you how to do. So I'm going to just hop into Tableau. Here we go. And uh, we are connected to the Tableau Superstore data. And I'm showing you sales by state. However, they're sort of ranked uh, or sorted by state. And we're going to show you how to do this. It's pretty straightforward when it comes down to it. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to create a new sheet. And first, we're just going to find state. And we're going to click and drag that value onto columns. We'll have all of our states now listed out and we'll also go find sales, place that on rows. Now, if we sort these values, as you know, they, we could sort ascending or descending. Uh, we sort of see those states showing all up, but we want to sort it down the middle. So instead of having a visualization showing as is, we have to create a calculation to do that sort for us. So we're going to create a calculation to do this sort. I'm going to go create calculated field and we're going to call it podium sort and we just need one major table calculation it's going to use index but we're going to say if index is modulo 2 and the modulo is like uh, if you're back in grade school and you're doing a division problem it returns the remainder of a calculation so if we did 17 divided by 2 and the 2 is that value here the answer is 8 remainder 1 and but our calculation here with the modulo returns that one value it would return one in that case so it returns the remainder uh, but if we do index modulo 2 equals 0 all these values are even values that we're going to return so if it think about 2 divided by 2 it's 2 remainder 0 4 is going to be 4 divided by 2 is 2 remainder 0 uh, and that always is going to return 0 for even values in this case but we'll just say then index divided by 2, but we're going to make this a negative. So it's going to go all negative. It's going to show up to the left of our overall value. Else, so all the odd values, including our top value, we're going to say parentheses index minus 1 divided by 2. So this is going to turn all of our odd values into positive, or sorry, all of our odd values, shift them down a value, but they're going to be nice even integers. So when we divide by 2, they'll hit whole numbers and we can say end and podium sort here is our calculation name and what we'll see I'm going to just click OK let's go find that sort podium sort now I'm going to click and drag this value onto columns and it's going to show up and look a little funky let's just right click on podium sort change it to discrete and you'll see I now have values counting up. If you look at the first value, our top value at the bottom here at zero, then our next value is negative one. That's for second place. Third place is gonna be one. Fourth place is negative two. So that value should be to the left of our negative one. And you'll see it alternates back and forth. If we just take podium sort here and change the order to the left, you'll now see that we have all these values sorted out for us. And that's awesome, exactly what we wanna see. If I wanted to sort of filter this view down, I could just take podium sort again, place it onto filters, and maybe we'll just say between negative 10 and 10, and hit okay. Now we're gonna narrow down to our top 21 values in this case, but we're almost there, we could uh, go find sales again, add a label, and we're probably going to need to rotate it. Nice, it rotated for me. Um, let's format here, and we'll get rid of those column dividers always showing up whenever I don't want them. So no row dividers, no column dividers, please. Don't need them. Uh, there we go. Nice, clean view. Oh, we don't want these values showing up here in the header. So let's just right-click and uncheck show header. So now that value is gone and we have a podium sorted value. The extra, extra credit here with this visualization is adding appropriate color. So we're just going to create a calculation called color. And what we're going to say is if index 
is greater than three, then we're just gonna call it others, else, str, which is the string function, it's gonna convert everything to a string, and we'll just say index, end. And this is gonna give us our color. And I have a calculation already called that, so I'll just add a space after it, and we'll go find it. We call it color space. Now I just click and drag that onto color, and voila, there's our color. Let's add our gold, silver, bronze, double click. And I'm going to choose the jewel, uh, sorry, the Nouriel stone color palette. From there, gold, silver, bronze. Awesome. There it is. That's the podium sorted bar chart. It's a fun one, very interesting, different way to do it for sure. That's it. If you um, liked this visualization, you liked the little challenge we had here, be sure to like down below that you enjoyed this video. And if you're enjoying the series, or if you enjoy any of our Data Coach videos, be sure to subscribe. You'll get those into your inbox as soon as they appear. Uh, but that's it. You've made it through this video. We'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again. Uh, until next time.